Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today here in Super Liminal. That's right, we're back in everyone's favorite perception based game. Let's go ahead and turn this alarm off here at 3 a.m. Ugh, we are up early. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, I highly recommend you go back and check that out just to get an idea of what's going on in the game. Uh, so we're at this like sleep study center place and uh, we're kind of in a dream state and we got to figure out some of these puzzles as we get going here. So let's just kind of explore our environment. Looks like we're in some sort of office. Yeah, we're in some sort of office. Uh, I think we've just woken up. We got suit A, G, B. Okay, so there's more suits down there and I, I don't think we can get back there. Nope. And we were in suit F. So we need to remember that and it's it's three in the morning okay so let's go ahead and head this way again and see if we can get out of the office and figure out where we're supposed to go a uh, little waiting room here ah here's the vending machine let's see what do we want to drink let's get uh let's get some baking soda shall we actually let's get two and this machine's not gonna like that and we we'll take our soda and let's just we'll drop it in the trash can there oh we got a got an award look at that there all right, headed on down here into the hallway, and now I feel like we're in some sort of hotel. Yeah, we're not in the office anymore, some sort of hotel. I like the I like the music. Let me turn my volume up a little bit here. I want to listen to this music as we play. Nice. All right, so down in the comments below, let me know what you think of this game so far, how uh, crazy it is if, you, if you're enjoying it. Some doors are best left closed. Isn't that the truth? Additionally, down in the comments below, let me know. Uh, we got a door. Oop, we could click on that if we wanted. That fire extinguisher has already been used up. Uh, down in the comments below, let me know what you think of this game so far. What's going on? Ooh, we got one of those like Willy Wonka hallways. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the first Willy Wonka with uh, Gene Wilder. Great movie, by the way. But uh, yeah, I don't think we can get through that door yet. We can't can't jump and we can't can't crouch. All right, so let's head back this way, and we'll we'll click on this door over here, and oh, we're just gonna take the door right off. Very nice. All right, still in the hotel. Let's see, we got a door down here we could click through, and uh, exit temporary move, temporarily moved. Um, we can grab that sign and take that off the wall too if we wanted. All right, let's head down this way. Looks like we got to do that's starting to get it closer and closer, and oh, okay. Another optical illusion there for us. All right, what else do we got? We got a dead end hallway here with no doors and oop, some craziness over here. Uh, yeah, very optical illusion-y. All right, and let's go through this door here. And looks like we are still in the hotel. I'm using air quotes here, but uh, not in the hotel. Can we go all the way around? Yeah, none of these doors open. None of these windows open either. We can't, oh, we can grab the signs like we did last time. Looks like there's a, a spot up there we can try and get into. What's this here? It's a piece of paper. We can't grab or do anything with that. Nope, that fire extinguisher's been extinguished. All right, let's get our sign here and let's uh, get up and out. Let's move this back a little bit here. All right, and drop that there. Oh, good. We should be able to run up, and let's see if we can make it. There we go. Can I make it up onto the scaffolding? Nope, not really. I don't think there's anything up there. All right, so we've beaten the first puzzle. We got this here. Uh, cloud insert, new cube design, too much. There's some erasers and pens. We can't touch any of that. Portal prototype Z clipping. Huh. Order more red paint. Can never have enough red paint. Oh, there's another fire extinguisher here. Let's uh, go ahead and exhaust that one there. And looks like we got a door. Can we do anything with this door? No, just uh, some trippiness on the other side. Can I open it? Nope, can't interact with it that way. Let's go ahead and uh, click on this boom box here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Hmm, sounds like they're tracking us here in our dreams. All right, back into a hotel type area. And it looks like we need to go through here. 
All right, uh, there's the exit. Can I grab the exit sign? Nope, I don't think we can make this jump. Not that. So let's see what we got here. A little conference room. There's a cube or something over here. Can I, I can't grab the cube. Uh, can't grab anything here. Go ahead and activate that fire alarm. Nothing under there, nothing on the screen. Projector, can't do that. All right, so there's gotta be something with this. Oh, is this what we gotta do? Line up the, that's neat. I like that mechanic. Okay, so you gotta find the object or line the object up to, to activate it. So let's go ahead and drop our cube here and then we'll jump up and jump up one more time. Nice, that was an easy puzzle. Another fire alarm we can trigger there. All right, and it looks like, what do we got here, a line I can line up? Up. Oh, there's more there. Um, what's behind me? Oh, there's a table. Oh, there's the legs for the table. So let's, let's do this. There we go, so we got the table to spawn in. And there's a cube there, oh, and the flowers. Tricky, oh, I like this. Kinda like a, a visual puzzle, and we'll grab that cube. We'll probably use that here in a minute. We'll go ahead and trigger that fire alarm as well. Anything over here that's useful? No, no. Oh, this has like stairs in the center of it or something. All right. So I bet you we have to bring this over here to get up there. And we'll drop that down. Perfect. And up we go. And there we go. Another puzzle solved. Onwards and upwards. So we got an exit door. Um, let's do the fire extinguisher here. We already did that one. All right. So I wonder if we have to grab... Yeah, let's grab this. Here we go. We'll bring this up with us. And then we're gonna go like right, right there. And then hopefully we can swing around. Yeah, we should be able to swing around like this. If not, we'll move it. Nice, okay. Uh, perception is reality, isn't that the truth? Perception is reality. Okay, let's go ahead and get this door spawned in and we can take that off and, oh! There we go, we opened an emergency exit there that we can get through. Can I grab this sign? I could go, let's go check out over there and see if there's something we can do over there. Let's just drop this here. Can I jump up on it? Nope, okay, move that. Bring our crate over here and then we'll hop up here. I don't know if there's gonna be anything up here. It might just be a, oops, we're stuck there. A decoy side, some luggage. Nope, not much over here that uh, that we need to do. All right, let's go ahead and go through the door and looks like we're going into the back rooms again. Big old piece of wall there with red paint on it, dark red paint, eh, light red paint. Uh, can we see through this? Yeah, but there's not much going on. We still can't interact there. Ooh, we got another recording. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know but please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Not really. Uh, don't let me know I'm lost. I'd prefer not to hear that. Got some stuff on the tack board back here. We got Dream Diary May, February of 92, how to start it. I can't quite read all that small print. Symbolic meaning and brain waves. Lucid dreaming. Please head to the exit to wake up. All right, well, let's uh, keep heading this way here. Uh, still can't do anything with these doors. Rye sand shipping box, rice cakes and assorted candies. Uh, interesting choice there. Nothing over here we can do. Another punch card, can't do anything with that. And let's pop through here. All right, so I see a big chess piece and there's a cube there. So let's, let's figure out what we need to do. What do we got over here? Just a reflection of it. All right, so the cube. I bet you we have to do the cube kind of like this. All right, now we got the cube, nice. Uh, and then let's make the cube bigger here. And then we'll hop up. And I bet you we got to get up on that yellow platform there to activate the chess piece. All right, nothing over here. Nothing over there. Okay. We'll swing around. And I got to go forward a little bit. There we go. Chess piece activated. And we'll move that out of the way. And Ooh, there's a door there. Um, let's let's go check out this door, and then we'll head that way as well. Uh, we'll make this cube oh, cube a little bit bigger, and we'll do this again here. I know I'm not the greatest at this. It's kind of ironic being a dentist that my uh, perceptual stuff is not the, the not the greatest. 
All right, can we get this jump? There we go. Get that fire alarm. Um, I wonder if we need this chest piece to then jump up on top of that. All right, there we go. Fire extinguisher, we'll activate that. And, uh, oh, we got an achievement. Please use the other door. Ah, so it's a dead end. Because I don't think I can interact with anything down here. Nope. All right, anything here? We got StairCon, annual conference this week. Proper flooring support, pitch lines for your pitch lines, advance in railing design, uh, getting stairs for your stairs, is curve the new straight, know your nosing. I like getting stairs for your stairs. Ooh, we can grab this dice. Um, anything else in there we can do? No, it's got a... Uh, I wonder if we... Hold on. Let's put that there. Um, can I rotate this? Let's... Why has it got a chess piece on it? Can I do anything with that? Let's see. Let's make this super small. Pick this up and we're going to rotate it. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Um, I don't know. Well, down in the comments below, let me know if you know what we're supposed to do there. Maybe I'll have to look it up online. Uh, it's moving. That's probably not supposed to happen. There we go. It fell off. Um, cause I, I can't, I can't figure anything out. Um, I guess I could make this a lot smaller here. Let's pick this up and see if we can make this like really small. All right. And let's see if maybe we can like insert it into the Nope, that's not doing anything. Hmm. I don't know. Probably another puzzle that we'll never never figure out. Or, well, we'll come back and look at it if we know what we're supposed to do. Anything down here we're supposed to mess with? Some lights or windows with a, a power switch behind it? Hmm. Anyways, anything in the trash can? Nope. All right, onwards. Into the scary outside warehouse area. Okay, anything in these warehouses? We got a dumpster. I can't open that. Nothing there. Nope, nothing there. A super small door that eh, can't do anything there. Hmm. Can I drive the forklift? No. Disappointing. Okay. But we can jump up on top of it and then fall off it. All right. Can I interact with the crane? No. Darn. Um, could I? Wait, hold on. The crane, it's just a regular crane hook. I wonder if we're supposed to do something with that crane. Uh, I doubt it. Let's, well, we can grab the box or the cube, but I left those up there. Hopefully we can grab them. All right, let's jump on top of the trash can here and we'll grab the cube. All right, can we do anything out here with the cube? Let's make this cube really big. And we'll jump up on top of that and see if we can see anything on the other side of the wall. Uh, oops, nope, there's a ceiling. Okay, we can't go that way. Well, anyways, let's just go through this door, and there's another boombox. Let's see what the good doctor has to say to us. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. I like it. Confidence. All right. So let's pop through here. Got a fire extinguisher that we can exhaust as well. Already triggered that. All right. So the moon's pretty. Let's see what we got here. Anything? That fire extinguisher. I bet you this is supposed to be like the elevator. So how do we... Let's see. Let's see how we trigger the elevator. A couple fire alarms we can activate while we're looking. I think I said this once, but I'll say it again. Don't forget to comment on down below on anything you want to comment on. Like the video, subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. I appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Your comments, your likes, your views, your view hours. That's what I'm here for. Uh, and like I said, I appreciate everything you guys do here as I struggle to figure out this next puzzle. Why are those windows open? Oh. Tricky, tricky. Okay, we got the moon. And let's see here. We got another uh, boom box there. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, 
please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Yeah, I'm putting my trash in there. Don't don't spit my trash back out at me. Ugh. All right, so here's the elevator. Let's uh, or the door, the exit door. Can I put it in there? Or I wonder if I just have to go through it. Yeah, I think we just have to go through it. Can I fit through here? We can. Nice. Another fire alarm there we can trigger. And let's keep heading down the hall here to the elevator. Uh, don't get lost. What if there's a fire in the elevator? Beer fund, five dollars, Dakota. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Don't meet sister-in-law. Well, and yeah, we'll go ahead and do that fire extinguisher there as well. And let's hop in the elevator and let's see what happens here. Seize the day. Uh, ooh, the French. We know them oh, for their excellence. Couldn't read that as fast as I would have liked. But that's okay. And it looks like we're finishing up the episode. Oh, that alarm. And now it's 4 a.m. instead of 3 a.m. Let's go ahead and pause that there for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here in Super Liminal. I thank you guys for coming out and enjoying this Tooth and Scrubs gaming video. I appreciate you. I appreciate your views, your likes, your comments, your watch time. Love it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out, and we'll see you in the next Super Liminal video.